Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to America's most beloved firehouse morning show. A cup of Joe and some Fuego. Oh my God! And welcome, Leatherhead Nation, to a <laughs> cup of Joe and a little bit of Fuego. It's oh all the news God. and views from around the fighter fighting world sent in by you, the listeners. But first, Pete. What are we brought to you by? Oh, you guys know the deal already. You are brought to you by GettingSaltyApparel.com, where you will find apparel like this, this hat, and Mr. Kubi's uh, first do-it-your-old ladies box shirt right there, and Mr. Louis hat, and so on and so forth. We've got mugs. We've got cups. We've got tumblers. Got we've got all kinds of things. So if you want to support the channel, hit us up at GettingSaltyApparel.com. And buy yourself or your loved one something a little nice, something nice, you know. Nice, a little well, nice. nice, perfect. Good morning, Ruffy. How Good morning, fella. Bud? It's nice. Nice, uh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cup so of I'm... Joe. You got your Joe. I got I my do. Joe. We <laughs> wake up. Mm hmm. Hmm. All right, let's dive right into it, Ruffy. All right, so we're gonna head down to a little file, a little bit uh, <laughs> in Fairfax, Virginia. Our buddy Snapper, he works down there. Here we this go. happened on February 8th. It, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's not a shed fire. That's uh, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> so, so this building, uh, this fire destroyed five buildings, fourteen townhouses. It was outside of Alexandria. Uh, supposedly, it was caused by uh, somebody smoking. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think I've ever been to a fire like that. I'm trying to <laughs> no. remember if I've ever seen anything like that with my eyeballs. But uh, yeah, I've never even maybe, heard of anything. Like maybe, that. In, uh, <laughs> maybe in Hiroshima. <laughs> So uh, the the blaze also damaged uh, four single family homes as well as uh, five apartment buildings. I mean, five apartment buildings, yeah, man. Uh, a commercial building, and twenty eight vehicles. The damage was estimated at forty eight million dollars. You know, I'm not one to point fingers. You know, I don't Monday morning quarterback anything. You know how I feel, but maybe we didn't do so good here. I don't know. No. <laughs> I think my boy Matty Di Benedetto. Well, that's a tongue twister. He sent that in. Matty oh, yeah, Benedetto sent that in. All right, Pete, let's head over to the Boogie Down Bronx. Here we go. That's blowing out. That's pretty good right there. Not quite fair fact. It's the best part of the whole video coming up. Right there, baby. <laughs> All right, so that was a that was a three bagger a fire, heavy fire in the third, fourth, fifth, fifth, fifth floor, and through the roof over there in the boogie down Bronx. Bronx yeah, the chief, the chief always likes to see uh, the line coming out the window like that. But when you start asking for the cock cloth, I don't think he got too much. Right. He doesn't want to hear that. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, shit. Nice one, boys. Hey, Ruffy, what do we got going on over there at Ladder 16? My old stopping grounds on 67 between 3rd and Lex. We got a two-bagger. Uh, two-bagger. This happened last month. This was on 2nd Avenue and East 78th Street. Fire on the third and fourth floors of a six story. Shoot right. it, Petey. Here we go. Thank you. Nice. Nice. Blowing yeah, up so windows. I think Division, Division 3 had that job, and 
there were two 1045s, I believe. One was, I think, ended up becoming a code one, and the other one was a code four. All right, this one's sent in by Brett Greenley. It's the city of Jeanette. It's a little south of Pittsburgh. It's three square miles with 700 vacants. Now, it's only two men on a shift, so it's two men, one fire truck, as simple as it gets, Petey. Yeah, and this one, I absolutely love this one. This is my favorite one. It's a helmet uh, cam video, and it's just badass. So keep sending us your helmet cam Yeah, I like video. the helmet cam stuff, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, first person is always the best. Here we go. job get all excited and get a little angry man <laughs> he's knocking down fuego Petey, that's that's a pretty good uh idea of what it's like i mean he could really see a lot everything was open and vented yeah. but uh most of the time you're gonna see this yeah you're not gonna see too <laughs> much <laughs> even even when you're knocking down fire, you want to see the fire you know but. yeah yeah I actually, Very cool. another one i'll dig it out for the next show yeah, awesome. I, I, at first when he came in, I thought it was like, uh, you know, it's a living thing, Brian. You know what I mean? <laughs> it, is. it is a living thing. Yeah, man. Very cool. Okay, guys, that was a lot of fun as always. But you know what time it is? It's time for the mailbag. I mean, the ball bag. So, I mean, the mailbag. Sorry. Here we go. Mailbag. All right. Oh. First one up. This one's coming from our boy, the madman himself. Gabinuch, Gabby, 126 nice. truck, getting it done out in Lakeland Fire Department, Suffolk, New York. Looks like a fully involved shed fire he's got there going. <laughs> Go bump the bump, <laughs> step to stern. Oh, yeah. I'm just kidding. Give us the next one, Petey. All right, up next. Uh, this one's near and dear to me and Louie right here. That's John Ielpi, ex-beloved vigilant chief, getting it done. And this one's sent in by our old buddy, Josh Forst. Miss you every day, Johnny. Love you, kid. Rest in peace, brother. Now, All this right. one. Kitchen table of the week. Here is the kitchen table of the week. This is down in Miami-Dade. Uh, it was sent in by Chief Downey, D.C., Miami-Dade. It's the Fire and Rescue Station 29. It was built by Jorge Gonzalez, and that bad boy weighs over 400 pounds. Ooh, awesome wow. kitchen table. That ain't going nowhere when you got to move it. Nope. 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 Last right. top, huh? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they got oh, money down there in my yeah. day. Nice and that, I'm sure. Nice, nice. And guys, our rig of the week is coming from Carl Downton, a 1979 Maxia pumper, originally FDNY E93 in Washington Heights. He's converting it to a pickup for a daily driver, as you can see right here. You know why? Because he can. I love it. That's Love it. Awesome do. work, man. Awesome yeah, that's work, what Carl. Dude, that's a buff, man. That's a buffalicious bufferama right there, bro. Right Ooh. around the right around town with that thing. Woo! Nice. A little confusing. Is it legal? Can you do that? I don't know. I think you can. <laughs> well, I guess so. Yeah. Nice one, Carl. Yep. Thanks for sending that in. All right, fellas. That puts a wrap on our very first a cup of Joe and a little bit of Fuego. Keep sending the pics in. Send the pictures of the kitchen table. Send the pictures of your rigs. Send the pictures of jobs you've been to or videos, helmet cam videos, because I think this is going to be a permanent thing. It's here to stay. We love doing it. All right, guys. Stay safe out there. And remember, I love the smell of a burning cockloft in the morning. <laughs> he said cock. All right. Stay safe, oh. but salty. Salty.